I always create the entire scene and do the routing and configure the buses on the PC Edit app on my laptop and then I would grab my phone and mix with my phone. But yesterday I was on stage and I needed to quickly make a serious subgroup and assign a bunch of microphones to it and I didn't want to go all the way back to grab my laptop to do that. So I thought, why not do it on my phone? And sending channels to a bus, that's easy enough, it's very intuitive with the sends on faders, but configuring buses wasn't as obvious to me. I was like, where is the bus configuration page? I can't find it. I stalled for a minute and then I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. And I thought I would make a video about that because, you know, you don't always have your computer or your iPad or your tablet, but you always have your phone. So why not learn how to do things on your phone? That's pretty convenient, don't you think? I'm in the Mixing Station app and I'll click on a channel and then go to the Sense tab. And here is where you can decide the tap point of a channel to any bus. So if I click on the in right here for bus number five, I can decide that this channel is gonna go pre-fader to bus number five. So when I send it, it's a pre-fader signal of that channel to that bus. I can also decide that, hey, I want it to be post-fader and now it will go post-fader. Now keep in mind, every two buses odd and even next to each other will have the same tap point. That's why you are seeing I'm changing only one, but the one next to it is also changing. So if I go to bus number 10 and I click on post EQ, then 10 and 9 will be both post EQ. Always odd and the even next to it will be the same tap point. Now this is great if you only are doing this for a couple of channels, but if you want to have a monitor mix and all the channels that are going to that monitor should be pre-fader, for example. You're not gonna go through all of them and set each one to the correct tap point. So here's how you do it. You click on the gear icon on the top right here and click on signal tap and you choose the bus. So let's say I want bus one and two to be a pre-fader bus and I will apply. And now bus one and two is a pre-fader bus, you can see for all the channels. I'm going to the other channels, it's a pre-fader bus. Maybe I want bus 11 and 12 to be a subgroup. So I'll go to 11, 12 and make it a subgroup and hit apply. And now you can see it's a subgroup for all the channels. Now this is exactly like the console. So when it's a subgroup, you have to unmute the channel from that subgroup to make it go to it. So you're assigning the channel by unmuting it from the subgroup. This is also inefficient if you have a lot of channels that you wanna put on a subgroup. So what you're gonna do is go back here and go to that bus 11 12 that's the subgroup that you decided and go to the assignment tab and you can see right here which channels are assigned to it and you can quickly assign multiple channels to that subgroup that way the only difference with the xr18 is that when you have a subgroup it will have an on button so you'll turn on the channel for that subgroup and you don't have to unmute it so on the x32 and 32 you have mute buttons and you will unmute it to assign it to that subgroup on the mr18 or xr18 you'll have to turn it on with the on button